Welcome back to Control. We need to escort Wells to Horowitz. But before that, let's read a bunch of pieces of paper. Even though, uh, I think Horowitz was bleeding out, right? Yeah. It's fine. They'll be fine. Work chat. Plain parts. Okay, Mr. Dead Dog, what do you think of this? You know that airplane we brought in? Like, the actual proper airplane? Guess who they made catalog every individual piece of that plane to be examined for suspected altered status? I had to count every bolt, nut, and piece of non-connected metal. And that's just on the exterior of the damn thing. Do you know how many pieces of hardware it takes to make an airplane? I do. I do. Oops. God, we got a million things lit up in here. I don't think any of it's important, though, is it? That's a level three. So, meh. Level three, eh. Missions. Assets. Yeah, we've got a few new types of assets. Corrupted sample, I think we got from the mold hosts in that whole area. Remote thought, I don't know when we started getting that. But it sounds really interesting. Spare footage. Wait. That we haven't seen. Have we? Oh no, spare footage. That's like the outtakes and stuff. Yeah, okay. Just keep going straight. Me? Straight? Is that anything significant in there? Is there some way to get in there? Doesn't seem like it. Ah! Love all that color distortion hiss stuff. Oh my god, there's actually like there's sort of a smoke slash fluid simulation with it. I was moving around with my body a little bit. it around. Can you see it? It's pretty subtle. Level 4 headshot boost. Headshot damage plus 90%. Christ. Huh. Is that better than increase of accuracy? I don't know how many hit the head. Probably not many. I'll take the accuracy increase. Dodge efficiency, a really good one. Evade energy cost minus 18%. Well, if I ever need to get across a huge gap, that's going to be one of the ones I equip.
Come on. The motel court is on the other side of logistics. Horowitz should still be there. So now we're back where we've been before. Oh, it's throwing in random finish again. It's it's arcane for tab. Let's go. Hold on. Something's wrong. With Transformed. Horowitz. Oh, God, no. Christ, do they have a lot of health? He's okay. I'm sorry about your friend. Thanks. And thanks for coming to get me. Horowitz's HRA must have been damaged in the threshold. The guy never put himself first. At least the anchor altered item is still locked away down in the clocks. I hope it rots down there. That altered item needs to be dealt with before it hurts anyone else. I should go back down and contain it. Head to the executive sector, Wells. They could use a medic. Thank you, Director. I'll go see what good I can do there. Investigate the safe room. Maybe that wouldn't have happened to Horowitz if I hadn't read so many notes on the way back. <laughs> Let's get a new ability, maybe. If two points is enough for what I want. Three, three, not doing melee. Don't care about shield, but again, the use of A to rush at enemies and knock them back thing is pretty cool. I might want to go for that. Not sure if I'm too excited by the seize thing. It's a little too passive for me. So yeah, save my points, or start to go for shield. I'm going to have to spend a lot of points getting the shield strength up before I can do the knock somebody down. Uh. Hmm. I'm going to save it for energy and health. Oh, I might have the stuff to upgrade some weapons, actually. Oh, yes! Oh, do we have some... Is charge a new form? Holds up to three explosive projectiles that can stagger enemies caught in their blast radius. Oh, heck yeah! Okay. Okay, well, Pierce is, like, the best thing ever, so I want to upgrade that and then see if I have anything left over for other stuff. Increases base weapon damage, unlocks second mod slot. Spin, nope. This I'm definitely going to make. Takes corrupted samples. Oh, I can already upgrade it. 
Okay. I know I should probably see if I like it before I upgrade it, but eh. I'm not going to be too precious with my resources. Well, let's toss out spin. Oh, actually, uh, first, let's add a second thing to pierce. Headshot damage plus 90%. For Pierce, that's really good. Zoom increase would be nice. Hmm. Yeah, so I guess I guess this headshot boost thing is not exclusive to Pierce. This one says exclusive to Pierce. This one does not. So that's why I have it here as well as the other thing, which is where I looked at it before and dismissed it. I don't think the zoom is that important. I don't find myself squinting at enemies wishing I could zoom a little bit further so I could hit them. It's not really a big issue for me, so I'm going to go with headshot damage. And then for this one, let's replace it with charge. Do I have any charge exclusive? I do, but they're level 1 and 2. Actually, just level 2. That's the only exclusive one. Blast radius plus 36%. That's a pretty big increase for level 2. Level 5 would be much better. Damage after a kill, eh. Reload speed, meh. I mean, I gotta pick one, so I guess damage after a kill? Alright, let's check this thing out. So, that sniper, does it look any different? Now that it's been upgraded? And nothing obvious. Like, I mean, it could be a bigger projectile with more pretty particle effects, but I can't tell. However, this is the new one. Oh, whoa, that looks cool. It sucks everything into it for a second. <laughs> so you can put it up there and it just like sucks all the paper and everything off of desks. That is so cool looking. Can I charge it? Yes. You can fire all three at the same time. Like, so cool the way they, like, come out and just hang around. Oh! Ow. <laughs> They're the things around the gun. The three things around the gun are what go up into the air. Those are the explosives. I can't wait to use this. Not good for close-up, obviously, but... Man, it's gonna be some fun. Okay, sealed threshold hall. Uh, that's the bathroom. <laughs> Wait, is that all that's in here? Ah. safe room well showed me the one with the altered item inside well probably gonna regret this sealed threshold account threshold with effect something manifested in the containment sector in the middle of the Department. Simultaneously numerous something appeared in the area, injuring and killing many. After rescue operations were completed, rangers were sent in to discover the threshold's epicenter. The sheer amount of... There must be clocks. The sheer amount of clocks made the expedition impossible. The area was sealed off after removing the clocks proved an impossible task. The department was relocated and area abandoned. Researchers theorized the threshold introduced unstable matter to our dimension, which adopted the form of the something clock as blah blah blah. Ah, too much is redacted. Great. More clocks. Danger. Hey, how many of these clocks can I suck up? Aw, oh, 
Oh, not that many of them. that oh well this time enemies spawned here so great i get to test this out not great for enemies in the air not surprisingly So it does some damage when it first hits them, but then more when it explodes. This is the safe room Well showed me. The one with the altered item inside. Great. More clocks. So what do I need here? Just something to stand on to get me some more height, I guess? I could sort of go off of here, like jump from here, sort of. I'd be more comfortable just grabbing a couple objects, though. Clocks aren't very big. It's a backpack. You totally could have grabbed that, Jesse. This is the safe room Well showed me. The one with the altered item inside. Great. More clocks. Okay, that should do it. fire boost. Don't like spin, but I think that's a level 5. Uh, wait, was it a level 5? Oh, what? What was I looking at before? Well, there it is now. Uh, rate of fire, plus 55%. Jesus, that's massive. Hold on, is this a main quest? It's not. I think the comment, how am I supposed to get across that? I think the answer is you're not supposed to yet. 
which explains why I had such trouble getting over that first gap. I think I need to levitate to do this. Right, like, how would I ever get that? You could stack things all you want, you're not gonna get there. I'm gonna close the door behind me so it doesn't get out again. So, we need to continue north in containment. So, we went east when we did all that stuff. Came from south initially when we took the sector elevator, so I think we just go straight north. Yeah, towards the Panopticon. That's where Dylan is. In memory of the heroic agents who gave their lives to force known and unknown for the protection and greater knowledge of all humankind. Oh, do these open for you? Oh, just that one, which is not opening for me, but just malfunctioning, it seems like. getting there. I assume we can get in from the other side, like that side, once we come around to it? Surely. Medical wing, the first thing we see is some of this strange growth. Is this the mold or is this something else? Just a small patch of it. Poopoo <laughs> Poopa just laid down and pushed my keyboard half off the desk. Well, fighting's gonna be hard now, but it's alright. It's my duty as a cat mom. They wanna sit somewhere? They can sit. It's just you. Just you and me. Awkward. Oh, fuck. I did not mean to do that. Ooh, pretty. Yeah, that worked really well on a bunch of enemies in close... Close proximity. Do I have level 6 clearance? I don't remember. No, just level 5. I totally forgot you could switch shoulders. Weird. I wonder if I've accidentally switched it and didn't notice. Because right now this feels weird. This feels normal. This feels like they're at the center of the screen and this feels like they're at the side. Which isn't true. They're both equally offset from the center. Which must mean that this is what I'm used to. I wonder if it depends on whether you're, like, right-handed or left-handed. Which one you prefer? This one's kind of over the right hand, over the right shoulder, and I'm right-handed, so it feels right. Is that it? Or is it just purely personal preference? Weapon armor damage. Damage against enemy armor plus 86%. Hmm. I don't know if that's B 
big of a de- that big of a deal, really. If I get stuck needing to kill something that has a lot of hit points, it's because of a lot of hit points, not a lot of armor. So far, anyway. Can it be used on this, though? Okay. With the charge, that might be really good, actually. Better than blast radius plus 36%. Uh, damage after a kill. Probably better than that. So I think that continues on. Let's explore these patient rooms then. Shield boost, level 4. Shield strength plus get in there without level 6 clearance. Wait, can I force that door open? I guess it wouldn't matter. There's two doors. This is the red one, not the one that's green from that side. This is definitely the mold stuff. Spores being shot out. <sighs> Got it. Hopefully there isn't two. <laughs> This charge does so much destruction, it's beautiful. Mold Autopsy. The deceased was a something-year-old something with no significant past medical history. The subject was brought in after being discovered in the active threshold in an early state of decay that is characteristically fungal-based in its appearance. During autopsy, the cadaver's pleural cavities were revealed to be entirely filled by the fungus known as the mold, to an extent that medical staff were forced to put on decontamination suits. The procedure was also hindered by anomalies such as the deceased's high body temperature and undulating torso muscles, presumably but not provably caused by trapped gases. Routine samples, as well as tissue samples requested by Dr. Underhill, were successfully extracted. However, their rapid retrogression outside of the host body needs to be noted. Cause of death, mold ingestion. Oh, 
decon showers. Oh, that light is so cool. Toss out some personal mods. We're kind of running out of space. Anything that's below level 3, I think, is worth tossing. saw an inverted black pyramid, the board, the astral plane, then a red pyramid appeared underneath. What's that? It felt scary and bad news. They moved to be on top of each other, like elevator lights. Going up? Is this the sector elevator? Then they connected slash docked. It's an hourglass. A doomsday clock? It started flashing wildly. The sand is leaving down. Now it's all down and the red on the top. This can't happen. We must stop this from happening. Final step, I guess? They rule us now. I woke up screaming. candidate program over that way. That would be where Dylan is, right? Well, maybe not. According to the map, it's not the direction where Dylan is. Globe procedures and altered item. No unique procedures required. However, contact should be limited as some report feeling disoriented after touching it. Item is handmade, set in dark wood. The item itself is lacquered, hand-painted, spins freely on all axis, uh, axes. While the continents and oceans are recognizably those of Earth, careful examination has revealed numerous something and other geographic additions that do not exist on our planet. One of these islands has a city marked on it named Tonralio. There are no signatures left by its maker. Physical contact renders subjects dizzy and disoriented, with some reporting a feeling of unfamiliarity with their surroundings. The effect seems to grow worse with prolonged contact, culminating in a sense of listlessness and depression. Suicide has been observed in some number of handlers. So I haven't been over here yet. I should go to this main room because this will connect back with the control point at logistics. Uh-huh. That. 
leads towards Dylan. what the Bureau calls Dylan. His cell's been breached. Has the Hiss found him? Are you there with him? Can you protect him? the prime candidate program then. August 4th, 1964. We discovered the oldest house while investigating a suspected altered world event case in the New York City subway tunnels. The agents found their way up into the building. Once we became aware of it, it was there. For the rest of the population, it was hiding in plain sight, a, a slippery blind spot, seemingly discouraging observation. It's a, a place of power. An ongoing AWE of its own, seemingly adhering to its physical outer constraints and yet constantly breaking the known boundaries of reality. It's, it's unstable, shifting. Note, for more details on control points and the research and process to stabilize and secure the core sectors, refer to a separate presentation. After extensive research and investigation, the Bureau made the building its headquarters on November 13th, 1968. The Federal Bureau of Control was never out in the open. This, this was always an obfuscated, classified top secret operation. So imagine our surprise when the building's observation resistant aspects began in some unquantifiable way to affect the Bureau as a whole. Did it affect the Bureau as a whole? So this place doesn't go anywhere, does it? No. Okay, so I can't get to the Prime Candidate program yet. Yeah, let's head towards Dylan. Whoa. <laughs> okay. different. That's upside down.
Thank you, hotel. It's been a long time since Dylan and I knew each other. I've wondered about him, what kind of man he'd grow up to be, were things as hard for him as they were for me. Maybe in here, they were even harder. something I can help you with? I'm Jesse, the new director. I need to get inside. New director? Right. Uh, well, okay. Hello, I'm Frederick Langston, the Panopticon supervisor. It's not the best time for a tour. We have hiss everywhere, numerous cell breaches, and system failures across the board, but you're the director, so here we go. Founded by Zachariah Trench, the Panopticon is our state-of-the-art repository for all altered I items, don't have time for this. power, and... I was told Dylan Faden was kept here. Can you help me find him? Faden? Uh, sure. Darling wanted him somewhere secure and isolated away from people. He's in the maximum security cells, upper level. But there's currently a, uh, a pressing matter, ma'am. We've got an object of power loose in there. <laughs> it's wrecking the place. The Benikoff TV? It's a, it's a real doozy. Salvador took a team in to handle it, but no one's heard from them for hours. This is a Category 5 OOP we're talking about, and if we don't contain it soon, it will tear the Panopticon apart. And we don't want all those altered items getting loose, ma'am. No, trust me. Dylan's in there. Open the door, Langston. I'll handle it. If you say so. Uh, I usually tell first-timers not to touch anything, so... Uh, just do that. Yeah, I'm going to touch Here, everything. For you. And please, ma'am, call me Fred. Thanks, Langston. <laughs> that was beautiful. So call me Fred. So Thanks, Langston. I guess life's a breach, huh? <laughs> I'm funny. No, you're not. Thermos procedures. Oh, dear diner coffee thermos. No unique procedures required. Altered status is suspected but unverified. A blue coffee thermos with a white plastic cap and a logo of the Oh Dear Diner located in Bright Falls, Washington. The cap doubles as a mug. Okay, so this is a reference to the collectible item that you'd find coffees, like thermoses of coffee like this all over the place in Bright Falls, Washington in Alan Wake, the previous game. The item responds to formula uh, 1.16, yet no discernible altered effect has been discovered, other than keeping liquids warm for surprisingly long periods of time. It's also worth noting that the coffee from the thermos is always refreshing and strong, no matter its quality before being poured into the item. The thermos was discovered on the shore of Cauldron Lake, outside the town of Bright Falls. Both are known sites of a recurring altered world event. According to witness statements, Alan Wake, see Prime Candidate Program Entry for further information, who went missing shortly before the discovery of the thermos, had been seen something collecting similar thermoses for an something purpose. The Panopticon. Dylan's close. But that object of power might wreck this place before I find him. Can't afford any upgrades.
you gotta be really, really careful about evading here when you have these railings, because these railings don't stop you. You just bust right through them. So basically, basically as if they don't exist. So you dodge the wrong way and you're going right off the edge. They're above me. You know, I keep just firing my shots when I charge them and don't want them. Is there a way to cancel out of them? Oh, fuck! Well, that's not the way. Ah, F does it. A little tricky, but it works. Seize Accelerator. Seize Speed plus 67%. It's a huge increase, but I like my current ones. Just a little picnic basket. What does it do? already read about that fan. Why is that scratched out? Hmm. This is where we the fire break. Yeah. Something went wrong with the Bureau's plan to make Dylan the next director. Marshall made it sound like it was all Dylan's fault, but how much of it was what the Bureau did to him? I don't think she's telling me everything. Hold on. Hello? Is, there, is anyone there? What are you doing in there? Oh, thank God. Look, someone has to watch this object at all times, or it deviates. My ship replacement never showed up. Can you help me? Damn. I can't, I'm sorry. There's an emergency. I'll come back, I promise. 
Okay, okay, just don't forget. I can't stare at this thing much longer. Fridge duty. <laughs> I promise I'll be back. That's weird. It's letting me select chairs in there. Letting me select anything in there. Why? hoping I could talk to them. I'm good. the cell we saw on the monitor <laughs> 